the next question that we have here it says that one of your bgp peer is experiencing high cpu utilization leading to slow convergence and potential instability in the network how would you identify the cause and implement a solution for this problem now we know that bgp is a protocol that consumes a lot of resources in terms of ram in terms of cpu so someone like uh, is facing the same like high cpu utilization so we need to rectify the uh, issue we need to find out a possible solution for the same so first thing first what we are going to do we are going to check we are going to gather some information regarding like uh, why that cpu utilization is high so first thing what we can do we can execute the commands such as show processes show processes cpu again history utilization some other commands you can do a question mark to find out so first of all we are going to execute the command such as show processes cpu to find out like uh, which process on the router is consuming like most resources if let's say for example bgp is consuming most resources then we can execute the command such as for example show ip bgp summary to find out like how much resources bgp is consuming and uh, most of the resources are going in, in exactly like where like for example uh, maintaining the network information maintaining the path attribute like resources are being consumed exactly where we can find out that thing from show ip bgp summary we are we can so we can use we can execute these commands to verify the logs and everything we can verify uh, the processes running on the router we can verify the information regarding the bgp and of course the logs that we are getting like cpu high utilization logs that we are getting we can also check those logs to find out like exactly which process is con is, is causing more cpu utilization onto the device then what we can do we can check like bgp configurations we can use like show run pipe section uh, router bgp show ip bgp summary show ip bgp all summary we can we can check we should check the bgp configuration and in that bgp configuration we should check like if uh, we have done all the configurations properly or not sometimes what happens like due to some misconfiguration also uh, peer, peer like bgp neighbor relationship did, doesn't get formed but messages will keep coming causing high cpu utilization and all so we should check the bgp configuration we should validate we should see if all the bgp configurations are okay or not and then uh, we can confirm from the command like show ip bgp summary we can see if the bgp neighborship with all these neighboring devices is established properly or not we might have done some changes so we also should check for those changes that we might have made to uh, find out any potential uh, causes of the problem after the changes if you do some recent changes like some recent changes can also cause problems in the network so from different different resources such as for example logs such as for example these bgp output such as for example those cpu Process, so processes cpu utilization like those those commands you are going to gather all the information and then you are going to check for the bgp check the bgp neighborship check if the bgp neighborship is, is stable or not because what happens like if your bgp neighborship is not stable if it is flapping it is going down coming up going down coming up going down so in that situation also you might see high cpu utilization because every time the neighborship goes down the device needs to flush all the route information clear the neighbor from the neighbor table then it is coming up again messages bgp is going to use those uh, messages like open message keep alive message update message notification message the bgp will use those variety of messages to again create the neighborship and so so we should also check if the neighborship is in a stable state or not unstable bgp peers also causes the problem also check for like uh, the routes that are being advertised from the neighbor router uh, maybe your device doesn't has a lot of uh, resources to handle that much amount of routes so check for the limit that you have onto the device regarding maximum number of routes that it can install also you should actually see if the neighbors if the neighboring device is not or it, is it advertising the updates very frequently like frequent bgp updates if the updates are being advertised very frequently then also cpu utilization will definitely go high Right, so if there is any errors in the BGP neighborship or if the neighbor is advertising the uh, updates way too frequently, in that situation, you will also notice that the CPU utilization will in fact go high. Right, what we can do to solve this, we can configure variety of policies. 
we can configure the policies for that particular neighbor that when you send me the update i'm going to only accept these much routes i'm not going to accept the other routes i'm going to uh, uh, configure the policies regarding let's say for example redistribution i'm going to configure the policies regarding the route filtering i'm going to configure the policies to make sure that only um, uh, proper devices only authentic devices only authorized devices are allowed to form the bgp neighborship with me right we can configure variety of policies to make sure that uh, our bgp neighborship is okay and our limited amount of routes are being received from the neighbor router okay what else you should also check on timers a bgp uses like uh, timers such as for example keep alive timer keep alive timer is like 60 seconds and hold timer which is like 180 seconds so you should also check the timers if the keep alive timer and the whole timers are not configured properly then also your neighbor neighborship might flap and the based on which like your cpu utilization will go high right so check for those things as well also uh, to limit how many number of uh, resources how many number of sorry how, how many number of uh, prefixes you can receive or send we can configure things such as for example summary which is what we refer to as aggregation we can configure route summarization or aggregation onto the router to control like uh, instead of sending n number of prefixes i am just going to advertise one or two or maybe three summary prefixes so to, to control the limit to to control the uh, route advertisement to put a limit on the route advertisement we can also apply the policies of course out, outgoing policy incoming policy but we can also configure this uh, route summarization route aggregation as well in short you need to make sure that uh, uh, fixed amount of routes that are required by your router are the only routes received on the router rest you need to drop or ignore using some of the policy right so that is also one thing you can check design your design might include things such as for example route reflector your design might include things such as for example configuration if you have not configured your bgp design in a proper manner it might cause a potential loop in the network and if the packet gets stuck in the loop of course the cpu utilization will go high in that case as well so uh, you should also check for any potential loop uh, because of those incorrect route advertisement maybe in the route reflector environment or in the configuration environment so check for those things as well use some monitoring tools such as for example snmp monitoring tools use some sort of uh, monitoring tool to uh, get the information on the updates that you are receiving onto the router which might cause you know high cpu utilization as well we can configure if, uh, if if a route is getting advertised and getting dropped and getting advertised getting dropped again and again we can configure things such as for example bgp dampening bgp dampening is a concept that allows the bgp router to not advertise a certain prefix if it is getting if it is flapping again and again and again right so we can also configure bgp dampening to stop the propagation of flapping prefix and advertise the rest of the prefixes that thing we can configure uh, the hardware where we have configured the border gateway protocol where we have configured the bgp hardware resources we must also check maybe your device doesn't has enough ram your device doesn't has enough cpu or resources which uh, and you are receiving like thousand two thousand ten thousand number of prefixes then also your cpu utilization or like you know resource utilization will go high so you need to make sure that you have sufficient uh, hardware resources available on the device to handle constant bgp updates or to handle bgp messages right so hardware resources you should also check so these are things that you can check to control like to find out like why the cpu utilization is going high and what we can do we can implement variety of policies such as inbound route filtering policy outbound route filtering policy uh, we can configure things such as ORF, we can configure things uh, such as we can adjust the timers, we can we can check and adjust the timers accordingly. Uh, we can control like who can form the neighborship with us, who cannot form the neighborship, with us, who can send the updates, who cannot send the update. We can do all those things to make sure that we have formed the neighborship with only appropriate routers and we are receiving all the necessary prefixes only and the rest all the prefixes are getting dropped. These are some things that you can use to uh, these are some points that you should consider if your device is facing high cpu utilization and because of that you are facing challenges